Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking to you from my couch. And let's jump right into it. I'm gonna teach you how to make this cool effect in Photoshop uh, in about five minutes. We are going to start off obviously by writing our text. I'll make my text black and I'll change my font to something a little bolder. Now I'm thinking I want to change just some of the letters and have them be in a script font but first we're gonna fix up the text and just position everything how we want i kind of like this but i need to change the distance between one phrase and the other one line and the other that looks good to me um i love this font this is gibson bold there's so many different weights to it uh it's really nice i like it as i said earlier i'm now going to change just some of the letters to a script font i'm just gonna go sort my fonts and just look through them to find a font i like i've been using this called nautica I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how I pronounce it. So uh, I'm just going to change some of the letters randomly, just ones I like. W is pretty cool. H is pretty cool. Um, y is nice. I tried changing the S, but I don't really like it. Uh, it's kind of ugly, so I just <laughs> didn't change that one. Um, so I just changed the H then and the D as well. I do this totally randomly. Nothing is pre-planned. It's kind of hard to pre-plan everything when you're designing daily for two years, for more than two years. So I just go with it and feel what I'm liking at the moment. I'm gonna make the background black and the text white. You can do that from the start, obviously. I just started off with the inverse. Um, I'm gonna duplicate my text and start blurring it, the bottom copy. Convert to smart object, I'll blur it a little bit, like five. I'll duplicate a couple times. Um, I'll change the top text blending mode to exclusion or subtract, usually. I then Blur the top text as well, just like one pixel, slightly. I then continue duplicating my blurry copies and just adding more blur to the bottom copy. Since they're smart objects, you could just click on the effect and edit it. Next step is adding a gradient map. Oh, my cat's meowing. Anyways, add your gradient map. Oh, he's just chilling. Anyways, you add your gradient map, you select all your layers and convert to smart object. That way you can just go back to them and fix anything. I then apply this cool pattern I made to this. You'll definitely find some tutorials online on how to make this pattern. Lots of people use it, RGB stuff, cool. Uh, change the blending mode of that and make it a little smaller. And then I just add a levels adjustment. Oh, also reduce the fill on that to about something like 50%, I would say. Anyways, then add a levels adjustment. And uh, yeah, that's it. Super easy, super fast, super cool, super everything. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Also, I've launched my website finally. Some of my prints from my daily designs are available on the website. Also, all you'll find all my gradient map packs and texture packs and all that good stuff as well. So go take a look. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.